Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another craft afternoon. This is Emily from the Lee Memorial Library and today we're going to be painting rocks. So hopefully you gathered some rocks, um, grab some paint, and I'll be showing you how to make a little watermelon slice and a ladybug. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got all of my paint already poured out <clears throat> for the watermelon. I have a dark pink, light green, dark green, and for the ladybug, I've got white, red, and black. Why don't we start first with the watermelon? So I'm going to grab this rock that I found it just happens to be a nice half circle shape. First thing I'm going to do is use the dark pink. It's going to be the watermelon, the part you eat, the fleshy part. Just fill that in. If you have white stones, it'll probably be a little bit easier, but I only had black ones. I found these at the dollar store. So uh, this will take a couple coats to actually get the nice color. Okay, so once your first layer is dry, you're going to get your light green. We're going to start working on the rind. So, right around here, I'm going to do a half circle of light green. If you don't happen to have light green, just mix some of your darker green with some white. Just gonna fix this a little bit, make it more round. to take my dark green go right in under that one it's okay if they kind of overlap just kind of blend it together a little bit So we're going to just let that dry. Try to clean up my table a little. We let that dry a little. Okay. Now, since the red part or the pink is, should be dry. Uh, we're going to take our black and paint some seeds on there. We need a small brush, this is kind of small. Get my black paint. And you know what, let's go... I'm just going to do a couple right here. One right in the middle. We'll start out with a circle. 
I'm just gonna make like a teardrops, uh, teardrop shape. So, just like that. If you have a smaller brush, it might be helpful. I'm gonna just do a couple more right here, one here, and one here. You know, you could fill it up with as many seeds as you want. You could even make a couple yellow ones, just like real watermelons. Or maybe I'll do a couple more. One right here, and one right over here. I'm just going to be angling them all towards the middle. Okay, so there's the watermelon. You can also make, um, you know, different, you can add a couple layers of green, light green, you can do some stripes in there. Make it as realistic or not as you'd like. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry on the side. And gonna grab my other rock. It just happens to be a nice oval shape which is perfect for the ladybug. Now since my rock is already black that saves me the trouble of painting the head. Um, we're gonna go right in with the red paint and mark off where the head is gonna be right there. So that's about uh, maybe like a third the rock will be the head. Okay, And I'm gonna let me mix my red a little bit. I'm gonna paint a line, two lines, just to mark off where the wings are gonna be. You could just paint the whole thing red, the whole bottom half red. I'm just going to do a little variation there. Okay, so fill that in. It might take a couple layers. I'm just using regular acrylic paint. I'm not sure if there are other kinds of paints. I know you could use um, a paint pen would work if you have those getting fancy. All right, so I'm just going to um, again paint a couple layers, let it dry, and paint a couple more layers on there. Okay, so once that's dry, we're going to paint the dots on the ladybug. circles I'm gonna do the same on the other side to make it symmetrical and then some white dots for the eyes A little hard to get a perfect circle with this paintbrush, but it's okay. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for that to dry. Then just add some black dots for your eyes. And there you go. You got your ladybug and watermelon.
All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And next week, we're going to be making Father's Day cards. So it's a little, oops, it's a little shirt with a tie, which you can open up and put a little message in. I'll see you next week. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.